Very good morning, children. So very happy to see you all in today's session. So let me invite you all for the handwriting practice. Come on, after a long time, we are going to take this handwriting practice, my dear children. So for this handwriting practice, I insist you all to take a four-line note, a pencil, sharpener, and an eraser. Yes. So for any good handwriting, you need to sharpen your pencil with a fine tip. Come on. Sharp your pencil with a fine tip and let us move on to the practice session, children. So here, in your four lines note, you will be identified with four lines. So from the top to bottom, if you see, from top to bottom, what are the lines? How many lines are there? Count down. Line number one. Line number two. Line number three. Line number four. So totally there are four lines segregated with four lines for each and every segment it has been framed with the four lines children so for this handwriting first of all today we are going to learn with the middle letters what is so called middle letters ma'am yes ma'am here is your answer so middle letters moreover falls in the middle line okay so this is top line. This is bottom line. Okay, children. So, in between this, in between, here comes your second and third line. So, in the middle letter, moreover, falls in, in between second and third line. These letters, how do we call? We call it as middle letter. Isn't it? So, in the end line, middle matuna, this letters can be written. So, these letters will not go to the top line. Or it will not come to the bottom line. Yes. So now we are going to practice these letters. I will teach you how to write these letters. Shall we look on to that children? Come on. For any handwriting that is especially for this cursive handwriting. We need the help of strokes. Are you all remembering the strokes which you have learnt in the previous pre-primary and primary sessions? Come on. There are few strokes. Standing line. This is standing line. Yes. This is slanting line. Right. This is curve line. I think uh, it will be enabled little darker after a while. Yes. So here comes your sleeping line. I think now it is visible children, isn't it? Yes. So these are the basic strokes. Standing line is standing straight. Like how your ma'am is standing. I am standing straight like this line. This slanting line. This slanting line is slanting. It is slanting, tilted. So it's not straight, it's slanting. This curve stroke has two curves. On the top as well as the bottom. Two curves are there for this curve stroke. This sleeping line is almost slept. It's sleeping completely, right? So these are the basic strokes, children. So with the help of these strokes, we are going to frame these letters. We are going to practice this middle letters. Shall we start the practice? Come on, take your pencil. Take your pencil. Sharpen pencil. Try to... Avoid erasers. So now we are going to start with the first letter. Here comes A. Again, this is line number 1, 2, 3, 4. So totally 4 lines are there. So now for the first letter A, what I am going to do is I am going to draw a curve slanting stroke. This is slanting line. First letter, what we are going to write is A. Letter A. So for that, what is the stroke I have taken? In a stroke I have used, I have taken slanting line. Slanting line. So from where you are going to draw the slanting line? From line number 1, 2, 3. Line number 1, 2, 3. So for 3 lines, we are going to draw a slanting stroke. And now... Listen carefully, I am going to take this 
curve stroke. So, from the third line, we have to start any letter from the third line. So, slant line we are doing from line 1 to 3. So, from line 2, line 3. Now, curve, curve stroke, we are starting from third line, right? Listen carefully. A. Here comes your first middle letter, A. What is the difference, ma'am? What is the difference of using various strokes? If I have taken slanting line, the letter is somewhat slanting. It is somewhat slanting. If I take this straight stroke, oh, see how the letter will look like. Now, straight line, standing line, from again line 1 to line 3, again I am taking the curve stroke. See how the letter A looks like. If a letter A is it's a, the letter A is standing. The top is facing towards your top position. But when you see in this slanting stroke, the letter A is slanted. So, there is a slanting position noted in this letter. So, this A is straight in size. That is like standing A. This A is slanting A. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to practice only cursive with the help of slanting. So, this is the correct one. We are not going to follow this stroke. So, for this uh, cursive, what are the strokes we need? Slanting line and curve line. Slanting line, curve line. Come on, let us practice the following letters children. Here comes letter C. So, shall we start? A curve line, C. Right? Next letter, here comes E. Next letter, here comes E. Again, a standing line, slanting line. So, here comes letter I. Next letter, here comes your M letter. So, for any letter M and N, you have to start the letter leaving one space. Right children? So, a curve line starting from here follows your letter M. Next letter here comes this. See how I am doing a slanting line, curve line starting from Line 3. Right. Yes. Next. It is. O. Here comes. R. Right. Next letter. Again. Slanting line, curve line, yes. Here comes the next letter, U. Slanting line, curve line, U. Again, slanting line, third line, you have to start the curve line, V. Again, slanting line, curve line, W. The last letter here comes. Slanting line, curve line, X. Yes, children. So, I think moreover all the letters, all the letters are slanting. Slanting towards the right position. So, the letter C is tilted. E is tilted towards. So, each and every letter is tilted towards the right position. This is the way we are supposed to practice the cursive letters with the help of slanting stroke and curve stroke. With the help of slanting stroke and curve stroke. I think you all have understood. Do take this practice 
for one more page at your home. In the upcoming session, I will teach you how you are supposed to write your up letter. That is up letter, down letter, both up and down letter with the help of strokes. So take a practice each and every day. From today, you will be given with a handwriting practice along with a regular homework schedule. So try to maintain a separate four line note for your handwriting purpose children. We'll meet you in another session. Until this, bye from your teacher. Take care. Stay home and stay safe, my dear children. Thank you.